Get your popcorn ready because we got two big time programs from each side of the coast meeting up on September 30th when Florida Power St. Thomas Aquinas travels to Las Vegas to lock horns with Nevada Power Bishop Gorman. Now, both teams come into the 2016 season with a good chance to be ranked in the top five, and especially when they meet up in late September. Both squads absolutely loaded with some PTPers, and they have one thing in common, and that is state titles. Aquinas has rolled off back-to-back -back 7A state crowns, and they have won nine in school history, good for second most in FHS AA history. And Gorman has rolled off seven consecutive state titles, and they enter the 2016 season riding a 39-game winning streak, but the last time they lost was to, you guessed it, a team from the Sunshine State, Booker T. Washington. And hey, I tell you what, man, this game is stacked with some of the best talent in the country. Aquinas has 11 seniors ranked in the top 1,000 according to 24-7's composite rankings. And Gorman boasts four seniors ranked in the top 200 according to 24-7 Sports. And their five-star quarterback, Tate Martell, is pure magic on the gridiron. He checks in as the number one dual threat quarterback in the country. And the 2017 Texas A&M commit reminds me a ton of a former Aggie, Johnny Football. Over his last two years, my man has thrown for 5,000 plus yards. But the thing that is big time is his touchdown to interception ratio. 72 TDs to only eight INTs. And then on top of that, you got to worry about him making plays with his feet. Also, he's rushed for 1,000 plus yards and 14 scores since 2014. And with the departure of his favorite weapon, Ty John Lindsay, expect Biagio Ali Walsh's role to expand even more in 2016. The grandson of arguably the best athlete of all time, Muhammad Ali, had a big time junior campaign. He balled for 2,400 plus yards on the ground, 33 touchdowns, and averaged better than 12 yards a pop. And hey, my man goes 0 to 100 real quick. He might be the fastest player in all of high school football. And hey, I, I got this one for you. Just, hey, trust me, remember this name, Grevin Jordan. He is going to be huge for the Gales in 2016. The six foot three sophomore tight end is poised for a breakout campaign in his junior season. He reminds me a ton of a former Gorman star and current Notre Dame's Fighting Irish, Alizé Jones. And I think Jordan has a chance to be one of the hottest names during the 2016-17 high school football season. And hey, when looking at Aquinas, though, they have some elite talent on offense also. They got an absolute stud at wideout in their 6'4", 195-pound five-star receiver, Trevon Grimes. The soon-to-be senior has landed offers from all of the heavy hitters in college football. But according to 24-7's Crystal Ball, they think he'll be calling Columbus home and balling for the Ohio State University. And with the departures of Sam Bruce and Michael Irvin Jr., Grimes is primed for a huge 2016. And just like Gorman, Aquinas has a big-time talent slinging the rock for them, too, in Jake Allen. The 2017 Florida Gator commit checks in as the number 10 pro-style quarterback in his class, according to 24-7's composite rankings. And this kid has one of the most live arms in the country. Hey, now, hey, I can hear the defense getting mad. Don't worry, we weren't going to do a show without mentioning y'all. And Aquinas has a familiar name roaming in the secondary, Asante Samuel Jr. And he had a monster sophomore campaign in 2015. He led the Raiders with five INTs. And just like his dad, Asante Samuel, he is an absolute ball hawk. But the thing I love most about his game, he has no fear at coming up and laying the wood. A few other names to keep tabs on for Aquinas is Nick Bonito. The six foot two, 200 pound sophomore led the team with six sacks and 14 and a half tackles for loss in 2015. And according to 24-7's Crystal Ball, they think he'll be suiting up for the Florida Gators at the next level. Another stud for Coach Harriet on the defensive side is 2017 Notre Dame commit Drew White, and he just has a knack for finding the rock. And soon to be sophomore Anthony Solomon is big time. He has a chance to be a guy we see played on Sundays down the road. He had 11 D1 offers, including Alabama, before he even started high school. Now, let's go ahead and head back to Vegas. And on the defensive side, it all starts with 2017 Ohio State commit Haskell Garrett. The six foot two, 300 pound defensive tackle checks in as the fourth best DT in the 2017 class, according to 24-7 Sports. And if it wasn't for his teammate, Tate Martell, 
he'd be the number one overall recruit in Nevada. Last year, he led the Gales with six sacks and 16 tackles for loss, and he is an absolute nightmare for opposing quarterbacks. And just like Aquinas, Gorman has a shutdown corner in Alex Perry. The 5'10", 165-pound DB had three INTs in 2015, and he's landed offers from Michigan, Arizona, and Oklahoma. But according to 24-7's Crystal Ball, they think he will be balling for Arizona State at the next level. And hey, you knew I couldn't get out of here without mentioning a USC commit. And Gorman 6'3 safety Bubba Bolden will be calling the Coliseum home at the next level. He checks in the top 10 among all safeties in the 2017 class, according to 24-7 sports rankings. And he picked off three passes in 2015, and he finished the season as the third leading tackler for Kenny Sanchez's squad. And before we get out of here, we got one more recruit to run through, and I think he is going to have a big time 2016, and that is super sophomore play -E -I -E -O -T -O -T. The six foot two, 205 pound outside linebacker was second on the team with 92 tackles and 13 and a half tackles for loss in 2015. And I tell you what, IE and Garrett are going to be tough to handle for opposing offensive linemen next fall. Well, that is all the time we have. I'm Zach Pop here on MaxPreps.com, America's source for high school sports.